Hi, I'm Tyrone, and I'm here with Dan McVeigh. And we're here with Poppin. Today, I'll be interviewing Dan on his experience of being a foster parent. Hey, my name is Joshua, and I'm here with my foster father, Rondell, and I'm going to interview him on his experiences in being a foster parent. I'm here with Selena Williams. I lived with her for five years when I was younger, and I'm going to interview her on her experience on being a foster parent. So, Dan, what made you want to become a foster parent? Well, my wife and I were uh, working in schools and saw that there were a lot of kids in the schools whose parents or caregivers just weren't able to or didn't want to really care for them. So my wife and I kind of looked at ways in which we could maybe take care of these kids while their parents or whoever was taking care of them were able to kind of get their, try to get their life back in order. Back when I was younger, a girlfriend of mine had her kids taken and they went into foster care. She asked me to get her kids to take care of them before they um, get registered. Um, I didn't know too much about foster care then. That initially made me look into foster care to find out what it was about. So what's your experience been like being a foster parent? Uh, it's been pretty amazing. Um, my wife and I have had uh, eight foster children um, in our homes over, over the number of years. Um, and my, uh, we've actually adopted my three daughters. For about 10 years, I did foster care. I took in about 19 kids. Um, out of the 19, I have two biological, and I did adopt two from the foster care system. What did you have to do to become a foster parent? Um, you have to go through classes. Um, first day, CPR is very strict and strenuous when you're dealing with kids. Um, they want to make sure you understand that these kids are, they need the same care that you would care for if they were your own kids. What was it like when you had your first foster child? Um, it was a little scary. Um, when you're dealing with kids that's not yours, um, you don't know what they're coming in with pertaining to um, their past history, their behavior, what they like, what they don't like. You don't want to scare them with the ways you are. You have to learn the kid as well as the kid has to learn you. There were at one time more downs than ups, but as you became aware that you can trust me, that you can confide in me, or you're not going to hear from nobody else, it made your, your, your relationship with me much better. And I know with you and your brother, you're both 17 years old, and people say it's too late to adopt y'all. But I think otherwise. What are the challenges of being a foster parent? Trying to gain the kid trust, I believe, may be the hardest thing I try. You know, you'll, you'll run across when you get the kids. Um, they don't want to trust that you're going to take care of them, you're going to feed them, you're going to love them, or you're going to abandon them. So many children has been physically abused, sexually abused. Um, their self-esteem become tampered with. Um, the psychological effects of everything that they're going through. And you have to realize that a lot of these children will act out and do things just to see. Are these people serious about me? and willing to keep me and take me as I am. What have you gained from being a foster parent? Well, I mean, the most obvious thing is uh, I have three beautiful daughters. Uh, my wife and I have three beautiful kids that we've ad adopted through foster care. Um, and I th really think my experience as a foster parent has made me a much better DHS social worker. Um, so when I'm working with families, with caregivers, um, I absolutely recognize the challenges that they're having Becoming a foster parent opened my eyes to how there's a lot of kids in the world that really need what I got when I grow up. Love, care, you know, trust, stability. So do you have any recommendations for KUA, which means Community Umbrella Agencies, or DHS on ways that they could better support the foster children or foster parents? They need to become more involved. Very rarely do they sit down and say, now what can I do for you to help make you better as a foster parent. I understand DHS doesn't have the best reputation right now. So being as though you're a social worker, what do you need to help you do your job? Well, I think one of the biggest challenges for many social workers is just the amount of paperwork that we have to do. I mean, there's a number of um, forms that we need to fill out and, and time that we spend in front of the computer getting things done so that way we can kind of process stuff and I think that 
is an important aspect and something that obviously has to be done, but at the same time, it, it keeps us sometimes from going out into the field enough to work with, with families. The city overall, I think, needs to look at how do we lighten the load for the caseworkers, for the social workers, so that way they can actually um, try to prevent future issues instead of just continuing to react to the issues as they happen. What would you say to the viewers that are watching about being a foster parent? If, if you're really in it for helping the kids, then be in it for helping the kids. Don't be in it just to, I guess, gain uh, money or bragging rights that, yeah, I took care of kids. Take care of the kids because in the end, you want them to be somebody.